Welcome to the bold analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Someone has sent me a clip and asked me a question about Mike Sonko. And it's a bit, <laughs> it's a very interesting one here. Yesterday, um, the president was in Korogosho for the launch of Nairobi Rivers Commission. My position, I still believe that's pilferage because you can't organize an event to launch a commission, honestly. <laughs> In fact, I, I, don't, I don't know what's the essence of the launch, honestly. But then, I observed something that of late, non-state officers, or rather people who are not supposed, not state officers, are hijacking President Ruto's or are given platform in President Ruto's events, presidential state functions, to address the population. And one person was given an opportunity yesterday is former Nairobi governor Mike Mbuvisonko, who was ejected, who was impeached as a city governor. Um, he spoke about something that is very shocking. I think he's just skinned Ruto live on camera. And Ruto must be very angry with him after what he said. Listen to it here. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. What do you make of that statement from Sonko? What do you make? Anataka huru hata ya rudishiwa pesazake venye la gashago li rudishiwa. So, gashago... You know, it's a mockery. It's mockery of our judicial system. It's mockery of the DPP. That Kumbe, the case was not dropped. I'm telling you, you're laughing, but it's, it's a very sad state. Kindly subscribe to our channel. If you're watching us for the first time, I want to humble request you. Click also the notification bell. When we publish our videos, you will always get uh, the notifications. And of course, Akuna video at Amoja, Itakupita. And this time, I also say, continue saying, thanking you deep down from my heart. Asante Nisana for helping us build this into one of the greatest podcasts of our time. Sonko is William Ruto's biggest dilemma. Because... This is the man that um, last time actually he wanted to vie for Mombasa governor's seat but then he was blocked by the court and um, after being blocked by the court he then decided to support the UDA candidate but then they lost against the ODM candidate Abdul Somad Nasir. So he has been trying to juggle between the two sides but again when William Ruto won after the election, he's been together with William Ruto. He's a man that is a mobilizer and he has the population behind him. You can't doubt the fact that Mike Sonko is a very popular um, leader. I don't know that popularity will translate to good votes now, but that's what we know. Although let me say he's a populist. But then, Ruto's dilemma is this. Sonko is pushing the president that... The best thing you can do for me is to relieve me. At first, I was impeached uh, maliciously. Of course, the way it was done, there were also some deep hands behind it. But Soko is also a man that sometimes is very difficult to defend. He's his own enemy. So, um, he is pushing President Ruto to that. Kindly, the way your other allies have benefited from soft presidential mercy by cases being dropped here and there, I also want to go through that. And we want that a president was getting set. <laughs> so Sonko is asking the president, now what I am, what is a bit shocking here is this, huh? he has an access to President William Ruto, he can meet the president, I think he can call the president, he can reach him, but he decided to go and speak it in a rally, in, in an event, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not a launch, it's just a rally because who can see us at the layer? He decided to go speak it about it in a rally. So why? Could it does it mean that he's been trying to access the president? By the way, um, I think I've I've tried to ask someone why is it that some other leaders, 
some other leaders want to hijack uh, venues, events where the president is and they want to find an opportunity to speak to the president in public instead of other things that can be discussed behind the scenes. But it's it's an effort to lobby. You want to get the president when you're there, when you're here, so that, uh, you know, skize, like today, the governor of, uh, tonight, governor, uh, the, my, my second county, Turkana, not Turkana, Narok, my Narok governor, Patrick Ntutu, accompanied president in Kitui. And it was launch of some, some, some hospital that was built by the police. And I was asking on what capacity or what is it. But then I understand it's a strategy. People are looking for trying to get audience with the president, even though there were also other activities that were going on there. Now, Ruto is, as Sonko is Ruto's biggest dilemma. What it was bad from taking his role as a commissioner in the Nairobi Rivers Commission by after LSK petitioned uh, his speak and is yet to get a determination. But then Sonko is also here. Actually wants Ruto to make sure he's cleared so that he, vie, he can vie. Maybe we were waiting to see. We won't. And I remember when I was speaking to my friend Senator Kalwane and I asked him a question. The fact that we have branded all cases in court or rather by DPP as politically instigated, don't you think it's a window that can be abused? And he was in agreement that of course it's something that can be abused by other people to maneuver, maneuver their ways in the corridors of corridor. I can tell you. The Gadi presidency is haunting us back. It's haunting us. Nothing would stop, nothing was stopping Rigathi from the case being dropped and even Iyo Pesa Apewe, Arudishiwe Pesa, and I sit and gazwe. You know, how many people have won cases and have been getting compensations? Or, ni watuangapo merudishiwe pesa zao? Quite a number. I don't think he's the first person to win such a case or a case to be dropped. Now he's welcome because the my fingers are frozen. I know there are many other people whose accounts were frozen, but they've got back their money. They've got back their share. So we made a room presidents to parade that move in the county in, in the country that together will show up you know. So look at everyone else is using that to portray the government and we seem to be portraying or selling or projecting ourselves in the public that we've lost the touch on the fight against corruption. You know, we are fighting corruption. And here, yes, Sonko could legitimately could be asking for a very good, you know, he could be genuine. But when you just make that rice ata mimi zile pesangu na uru letwe, you know, I think the messaging would be better to say that rais is a case is in his cocotini, they are to reshika shika, they are to nini, sasa wewe, ebu arakisha, ebu to say these cases ishe. So that kama yu case itaisha upewe pesa, pesa yako kama ni shikwa, so be it. But just saying that ni rudishiwa, when you get shakwa ni rudishiwa, to some extent, hapo hapana. Three, this is also exposing the courts as an extension of Pro, as being pro-executive. You know, we, we are simply trying to show that there is no independence of the courts, that the that president is going to influence what Uhuru did um, for these cases to be, uh, for, for this money to be sent back to these people. So we are also exposing the courts in a bad way. I can tell you that with this, even the, 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 the corridors, the people from the judiciary are not comfortable. Even the judges are not comfortable with uh, with that statement that Pesango de Rudishiwe Kasezishe. It doesn't look. And Ruto must be very careful because there is a plot to use Uhuru Kenyatta as a scapegoat. You know, Uhuru cannot come to defend himself now. He cannot come to say, oh, that was here, that was here. We have also suppressed Uhuru's men, people who are behind these cases, like the DCI Kinoti. And there are a bit of reshuffles in different departments. So people are, Kinotis cannot come and speak. The DPP is here is playing the ball of on William Ruto's side. So 
we should be very careful and in fact the executive should be, should be very careful because the small junior people want to use uhuru Genera as a scapegoat kila kitu uhuru kila kitu uhuru so that let these cases reach their logical conclusions there is nothing wrong instead of just dropping dropping what is the end day? okay this are in evidence not all of them doesn't have evidence of course get some even take some two or three to the dock zifike watu wa win ile judge anasema hii kesi imeenda hivi nani aliwin lakini zikistopishwa huko lack of evidence the population feels it's the executive dropping them so what's your take on Songo's statement guys uh, it's a bit it's a bit shocking on my end